today I'm going to show you what's in my bag. So as you would have noticed by now, this isn't your conventional handbag, but it's precisely the only little bag that I carry around because of what's in it. So uh, before we start, this is a drawstring pouch made with the Qyons nanoparticle silk. The nanoparticle treatment here enables the pouch to function as a contact disinfectant. And I have stored my makeup tools in here. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I have always relied on using beauty blenders and sponges for application of my makeup. The reason is because these tools enable a much smoother finish rather than application with your fingers, especially when you're talking about uh, skin coverage. One issue with beauty blenders is that for a natural finish, it's best used wet. I remember purchasing my first beauty blender over 10 years ago and I remember that I had so much trouble with keeping it clean. The reason is because once a sponge gets wet, it's the perfect culture media for growth of bacteria, mold and other microorganisms and especially when it's something you carry around in your handbag. We're living in tropical humid Singapore I found myself throwing away a lot of my blenders because no matter how clean I kept it, it kept growing mold simply because I used it wet. Now, the Smart Blender has the key function of being able to provide an airbrush finish when it's used dry. And that's precisely the way I like to use my blender. Now, the key problem with using disinfectants on sponges and makeup tools is that it either requires um, the use of moisture, such as when you're washing it with a soap, or when you are spraying it with some sort of, um, you know, alcohol or bleach for that matter. Now, all these chemicals will undoubtedly leave a residue on the surface of the blender and if you have very sensitive skin, it's going to be a problem. You can get irritant dermatitis from the use of uh, these residual chemicals that are on your makeup tools. Now, if you prefer to wash it off, the problem is you're exposing the um, blender again to moisture and it may grow mold. The Qyons nanoparticle treatment disinfects 99.9% .9 of surface bacteria upon contact with the textile. And this has been demonstrated in laboratory tests. So I'm going to show you how I use my Smart Blender to achieve an airbrush finish. 